published. Authors and their institutions' press offices are able then to interact with the media in a well-ordered fashion ahead of publication and benefit from the subsequent coverage. Furthermore, the benefits of peer review by journals as a means of giving journalists confidence in new work are self-evident. Premature releases to the media denies them that confidence as well as the ability to obtain informed reactions. For all these reasons, and like several other journals, Nature has refused to publish papers prematurely released to the press. Journalists who break our embargoes have been removed from the press release circulation list, and we shall continue to use this sanction when appropriate. And the source for all that is on Nature's website, nature.com, under Nature Authors Policy and Embargo. Ignorant of the peer review process, a majority of the Bigfoot and cryptic community grew extremely impatient, and you can see that in the Exhibit uh, 12. The instant gratification sediment that is so prevalent in today's society was on full display. Bloggers demanded immediate results along with radio hosts accusing the team of delaying the study became the norm. Those threatened by the study took this opportunity to play on the Bigfoot community's ignorance of the peer review process, spreading rumors, lies, and disinformation about the peer review process and the Sasquatch genome study. With the, con uh, excuse me, with the constant barrage of disinformation, rumors, and lies swirling around, Sally Ramsey, a Sasquatch Genome Project team member, posted the following, quote, Lots of people have recently been wondering about the process of publishing scientific papers. Here is the basic process based on the experience based on her experience doing the PR in higher education. The researcher prepares a paper about their findings and submits it to a scientific journal for peer review, which can take months. The paper is reviewed by a team of scientists with expertise in the 